In the next quiz, you're going to build a simulation model for C-Road's mock sales. I'm going to use this video to give you a few important reminders. First, please use a different random number whenever you try to simulate something that is uncertain. This does not only apply to this example. This also applies going forward to every example. This is what you should not do. Let's say on one day, one simulated day, you generate one random number and you're going to use this, this random number to generate the simulated demand for both products. No, don't do that. You're using the same random number for multiple uncertainties. You don't do that. The reason is when you do this, you're creating correlation between these two simulated numbers. And that may not be what happens in real world. This is what you should do. You should have a random number dedicated to every demand you simulate. And this applies to every simulation. You always should have a dedicated random number for everything you try to simulate. Also, you should not have multiple data tables in a model. Let me give you an example of what I meant. In this case, for Mark 1, I simulate the revenue for 7 days and then I have a data table to, to replicate the simulation for multiple times. For example, this 80 means in the first simulation run, 80 is a total 7 day revenue from Mark 1. In the second simulation run, 70 is a total 7 day revenue for Mark 1. And I do the same for Mark 2, there's another data table. Uh, for uh, to generate different simulation runs for Mark 2 7 day total revenue and in this case I find the average among all the simulation runs is 80 the average among all simulation runs is 70 so the total revenue is 150 you do not do this don't do this you do not need two data tables what you should do is this, you only need one data table. You should have a model where for each day you generate simulated revenue for Mark 1, you have the simulated revenue for Mark 2, and you add them up. So for example, 30 is the total revenue on day 1, 30 is the total rev revenue in day 2, another 27 is the simulated total revenue in day three, so on and so forth. And then of course you add them up, that becomes your seven day total revenue. And then you have one single data table to replicate the seven day total revenue from both products. For example, in the first simulation run, it says that the seven day total revenue from both products is 180. Total revenue from both products for 7 days in another simulation run is 160, so on and so forth. And then you take average of them all, let's say it comes out 160, and then you conclude that the average total revenue out of all the simulation runs you have is 160. The reason you should not do the way above is simply because we are building one model to find out the 7 day total revenue from both marks. Okay, that's this one. What you do up here is essentially having two separate models for any one model for each mark. That's not what we try to simulate. We want one model that considers two marks, both marks together, 